time to let go and let God into every area of your life so you can experience peace and freedom and of course joy. We're so glad you're joining us on Hope today. I'm so glad that we are here with Amy Schaefer and Pastor J. Anthony Gilbert. And Amy, tell us about our guest that is coming up today. Oh wow, our special guest David Peterson is here with his new book all about a journey to forgiveness. What if you didn't blame others anymore for your lack of joy and didn't feel held hostage by the pain that others have inflicted on you? What would it be like to live in peace, experience true joy and discover a healthier lifestyle? A step towards forgiveness is a decisive step towards wholeness and joy. Can I hear the church say, Amen. Amen. Listen, forgiveness is a part of life. It is for all of us. Uh, the only person I don't have to forgive today is my most amazing, wonderful 18 year old son, Gabe, who is graduating high school tomorrow night. So he has been a delight and a joy to raise. So he's about the only one I don't have to forgive right now, <laughs> but I'm sure the moment will come. Guys, forgiveness is always something we're going to have to deal with and work through. Yeah, that is so true. Uh, forgiveness can be a blessing blocker in our lives as well. And I believe that's why you're tuning in is because God does not want you to get hung up or held up because of some unforgiveness in your life. I love Pastor Gary says it all the time. Forgiveness doesn't make them right, but it makes us free. So right. don't allow forgiveness to stump your blessing. Yeah. And speaking of stumps, <laughs> I guess we've got a thing called stump the host here. Let's check out the bumper. <laughs> Well, let's see here, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the stump the host question of the day. In a vision, ladies, when the prophet Isaiah had a sudden sense of his sinfulness, an angel came and touched his lips with what? A coal. Boom, coal. That's yes. what I'm talking we about. Sprinkle that joy. Man, a live <laughs> coal, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 6 through 7. Awesome, Ooh. ladies. We do, did it, we did it. We have okay. one? Yeah. Are you ready? Here All we right. go. <laughs> Jay, Sydney, this is for you. Who wrote this? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Come on, prophet. <laughs> okay, so uh, I feel like it's a stump, so I don't know if it's Old Testament or New Testament. Who's is it who said it? Yeah, mm -hmm. who wrote it? John? I don't know. Which John? We the Baptist of the Beloved. The Beloved? Come on, somebody. I don't know. I'm she, just got she got it. I'm, she got oh it. She got it. John the Beloved. You got it. You got it. I completely guessed on that the one. Prophet. Thank you, Lord. The prophet is in the house. Woo, thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. oh we got oh, another we got one. Okay. One. We got oh, oh, three. Yay. Let's see. We go three for three, ladies. Micah Jesus. 7 talks about God forgiving the sins of the people, according to verse 19. Where will God send? people's sins. Can you reread that again? Because that doesn't... <laughs> Micah chapter 7 talks about God forgiving the sins of the people. According to verse 19, where will God send the people's sins? Look, can we call a lifeline? Sure. I don't know. To the pit. Uh, Do you know? I might know it. But let's call the lifeline. Let's I think call, it'd be fun. Let's, let's bring it in. Let's do an audible. Fun. Let's, let's see what our guest, our lifeline has to say. What is your answer, David? Okay, now I'm, I'm going to need a little help actually myself. <laughs> I, I believe way. that passage is in the <laughs> deepest part of the sea, but there is another place mm. that says there that you go. Uh, as far as the east is from the west, yes. he, uh, he casts uh, our sins. David, and that's not, you, that's not in a big giant circle. The sea of forgetfulness. David, you need to Google right now while we're all live on air and tell us the answer. Did we get it? Is it to see a forgetfulness? Is that our, like what we're going to say is our final To never answer? be remembered anymore. Oh, oh. <laughs> Listen, y'all can't stop us. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, that music. Wow. I never had the music with the confetti before. Oh, oh I you love it. it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It's a whole well, usually we always get it wrong. Maybe that's why. So. Yeah. <laughs> we should have the confetti and music every time we forgive somebody. There you go. That's right. Because Asking for forgiveness and being willing to forgive are both essential to our Christian faith. But what exactly does it mean to forgive and how do we go about it? Are you ready? And what are the consequences 
of refusing to do so. Reverend David Peterson is our next guest and he's recently written a new book called Journey to Forgiveness, 21 Milestones to Freedom. He joins us now to share not only why it's important to forgive, but also to help us better understand how to forgive. David, welcome to Hope Today. Thank you so much. It's a joy to be along with you. David, let's talk about forgiveness. First of all, why is forgiveness so important and why is it so hard to forgive? You know, uh, it's so important because God has so much for us and uh, we don't need to be getting tripped up uh, and having our energy go in other directions because he has such a big plan um, for all of our lives. But unfortunately, so much of our time and our energy gets focused on those that have offended or hurt us and uh, perhaps even the traumas, the deep traumas that we've experienced. So that's a, that's a it's for our own our own best interest. Everything that God uh, desires is always um, on our behalf, uh, and so uh, journey to forgiveness is uh, the the how of how do we go about um, forgiving? And it's uh, this guy's journey of uh, walking in freedom and facing the challenges of forgiving every day. You start off your book by sharing your personal testimony and you have experienced bullying and you have experienced abuse as a child. Can you kind of share your story and what you've walked through to live in this freedom and forgiveness that you do today? So I was born with a, uh, a condition called essential tremors and it runs in my family and um, it originates in deep down in the center of the brain and then extends out through my arms, um, pr producing fine little vibrations. And sometimes that can be embarrassing, uh, but I grew up with it um, and really don't know any other life other than having lived through that. And sometimes there's some really embarrassing times and uh, you you can find yourself bullying at times. Everybody gets has bullying moments at times, but um, it added to the the overall stress of uh, of the situation. And then when I was eleven, I was targeted by a neighborhood pedophile. Um, the statistics are one in six men, as well as one in four women, reported that when they were children, they were sexually abused. And uh, the result of that is um, shame, anger, hurt, um, sleeplessness, um, effects of PTSD, um, so many you know, effects that affect blood pressure. Uh, it, it affects you on an emotional level, even depression. Well, I kept all of that silent for seven years until I was 19 and uh, was finally able to share what had happened with my parents. And that's when we began the process of, uh, of getting the good counseling, which a good Christ solid Christian counselor and uh, got on the path uh, of healing. But prior to that, I had some very self-defeating behaviors and, and uh, self-destructive um, ways. Um, but then when, you know, I was doing good, I'd been, you know, gone, finished my degrees, been through seminary, but now I'm at 35 and I have a wife and I have uh, four wonderful sons. And I realized that, man, I'll tell you what, uh, my anger level at times can be very, very close to the surface. And there's like this low rolling, um, you know, tension, uh, a low boil there. It doesn't take much to put it over. And so I, I went to my pastor and I said, I think I have some forgiveness issues. Can you show me how? Well, my pastor had been in ministry for probably 50 plus years. So dealing with the congregation, he learned a little something about how to forgive. <laughs> And he, he gave me three ways of dealing with it. And uh, from that three ways, just daily, leaving it, taking it to the Lord, I asked the Holy Spirit, 
And I, I, I'll tell you what, I've been filled with the Holy Spirit, knew the Lord, um, but I realized that I was an anger junkie. I was, a, you know, I had this, all this hurt and everything. And uh, I wanted real relationships. And I think all of us do. Uh, we just don't necessarily know how to get there. Talking about that low level boil or anger, something you address in this book that I have never connected the dots with or read about or heard about was that scientifically in your brain, um, chemicals are being released when you feel anger or hurt. Can you become addicted to anger? What is happening scientifically when you don't forgive? I, I call it an illegitimate um, energy for what God really has for us. Now, the anger is just that. It's just, anger is just an emotion. But when it takes over our lives and so consumes our personality, um, that's nothing that God wants because he's given us a personality that is beautiful and God wants that to be able to come forward. But sometimes we, you know, just like a drunk in a bottle or, or any other controlling force that we find energy or derive comfort from, or we find protection from, um, anger can, can provide that and getting to the heart of that was, you know, uh, punching doors and walls and things. And even if you don't, you're not physically hurting folks, um, living in an atmosphere of where others might feel intimidated by us, that's not a God thing. Um, the fruit of the spirit is, you know, I don't see rage as one of them, <laughs> but you know, we have to look at it and have mercy. Mm -hmm. uh, there's always a source to that pain and that hurt that's creating that. And uh, we can't just tell people, well, you just have to forgive and forget. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes that, that does nothing for the one who um, it provides no justice, it provides no, no comfort. Um, it just lays more shame into our laps of why we can't. There's biochemical reasons uh, that point to why it's difficult to forgive, dopamine, um, so much along that line. I tried to bring that out in this book. Um, it was a, a, a unique discovery, it felt. And I want people to walk in freedom. That's why I want to get this book into the hands of as many folks as I possibly can. So let's say someone's watching and they're just, they're so mad. They're so hurt. I mean, I... I just hearing your story about someone, a pedophile targeting you, that makes me so angry right now. How, what, what is the first step for that person that just says, I can't forgive, I just, I feel stuck. What do you say to them? Uh, forgiveness doesn't have to look like anybody else wants it to look like. Forgiveness mm -hmm. is simply, that point at which that person, when you think of them, no longer pushes your buttons and no longer generates the energy inside of you. The pain that you have encountered is very real. It should not have happened. You are abnormally used. That's abuse. Mm -hmm. To be abnormally used, abuse. You didn't deserve it. It should never have happened to you. But God is with you in the midst of that and wanting to walk with you toward a place of wholeness, um, entrusting the person, hey, look, folks need to, need to face justice. They need to encounter. They need to be in a place where they don't ever hurt somebody again. And this is a, an extreme kind of, uh, kind of case that I'm referring to. But even just um, the folks that we encounter in our lives with the daily offenses, I believe that the next wave of revival mm -hmm. is going to happen not just as we uh, experience forgiveness from the Lord, but as we extend forgiveness to others because it creates more space. I don't know about you, but I've had so many people come up and ask for me, you know, can you pray with me that Jesus baptized me in the Holy Spirit, that I receive a filling or a new move from God? 
and uh, we'll pray over it, we'll pray over it, we don't see anything. But then we'll say, is there someone in your life that maybe the Lord could bring to mind that you might need to forgive? And even just seeing them in the early steps of turning things over to the Lord, all of a sudden, whoosh, you just see them come into a new filling of his precious Holy Spirit. Mm. I want to get there. How about you? <laughs> Amen. And I did not see any faces when you said that. <laughs> Actually, I did. Um, how do I know that I have truly mm. forgiven somebody? What, what are the signs yeah. that I have let it go and I have forgiven? You know, you may have, it may be a process of walking back mm -hmm. to it over and over and continuing to lay it at the foot of the cross. Um, that, that point in your life when that person's, a memory of that person doesn't trigger rage or doesn't, doesn't trigger extra energy or pain, but some folks, just all they need is, is just to have a scent of, of something that person was wearing that, that hurt them. And there's that pain that, that's there. When they are no longer um, seized up, whether it's with anger or hurt or absolute terror, um, walking that out day by day, um, that's that's walking in forgiveness. And it's it's not easy. But hopefully this provides a, a little journal along the way. This is an excellent journal and resource to have. Can you pray, David, for all of those that are watching that are just, they're in pain, they're hurting, it's manifesting in their body physically, signs of hurt and pain and anger. Mentally, they feel foggy and just not clear. Can you pray for them today that they will experience that first milestone of freedom that takes I, place I, in forgiveness? I'd be honored to. Come Holy Spirit, release the power of the kingdom into each one of these lives that have experienced such devastation and Lord, it, it could have been something that's hugely dramatic or even, uh, even just a, a minor offense. And yet, um, somehow we keep going back to this. Lord, we are absolutely helpless to fix ourselves or to help ourselves. We need you, a mighty healer, a mighty savior to step into our reality and set us free. Lord, you have created us for so much more than just to hang on to bitterness and, and old offenses. You have created us to live freely and with great joy because there's a world in need of healing that is yet to be reached. So Lord, uh, any, any hurts of the past, uh, we come against them in Jesus' name, but they would, we break them, we bind them, we cast them off so that the true person that you've created us to be in you would come shining forth our best us with Jesus. That's what we seek, Lord. And Lord, any hurt or experiences of, that we have caused to others, mm -hmm. bring wholeness and healing to those that perhaps we've hurt with, a, with harsh words or impatience. Bring healing to them so they know, precious Jesus, they are so loved beyond a shadow of a doubt. And we give you praise and glory this day in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, David. I do believe that this, this book and your prayer are going to help people taste and see freedom of forgiveness in their life. Thank you so much. Journey to Forgiveness 21 milestones to freedom. Thank you. Well, Pastor Amy, great job on that. And yeah. thank you, David, again. And listen, I've got a short message that I want to share with you. So I want you to stay tuned because God has put you on my heart and I've got something special that I believe is going to minister just to you when we get right back. Sid, I 
love your Cornerstone Television t-shirt. Where'd you get it? I am so glad that you asked. You know, this is an exclusive offer for the month of June for you to receive this one-of-a-kind CTVN t-shirt. You can support and sport your favorite Christian television network this summer when you go to barbecues, hanging out with family, and having tons of fun. Oh man, that is so much fun. And speaking of Cornerstone Television, I love their programming, especially that Hope Today show. Yes, we love Hope Today and all of the programs. And you know, with your best gift, request your Cornerstone Television Network t-shirt when you give this month. We have sizes from extra small to 6XL. It is 100% cotton. It is quality and we want you to have this on you today. That's right. We have one for everyone and you get to represent the station you love with your own logo t-shirt. You'll enjoy this wearable reminder that hope happens here as together we spread the love of Jesus every day. You know, we cannot do it without you. When you give, you help us to impact Pittsburgh and beyond, reaching those of all nations and generations because we know people need to know the hope and the love of Jesus like never before. So why don't you give us a call at 888-665-4483 and request your very own Cornerstone TV t-shirt. That's right, you can also give online at ctvn.org slash donate. We would love to see you out in public somewhere wearing this t-shirt. Maybe we'll have ours on too. Thanks for supporting us. Well, I love this opportunity to be able to share with you what God's put upon my heart for just a couple of moments. First people I want to minister to just for a second. About two weeks ago, God spoke and said there are many people that are under a major attack that have been going through. May was a difficult month for you. And the reason why the attack has been so heavy is because June, we are in June 1 today, is going to be a supernatural month of release. The things that you've been battling with is because there is a release that is coming. And not only with the release and doors being open, there's going to be an anointing of acceleration that has come upon you. And there are many of you that have felt weary in this season and felt tired, but I really sense the Spirit of the Lord saying, June is going to be a turning point month. It is going to be a month of release. It's going to be a month of acceleration. It's going to be a month when the grace of God comes upon your life, that what has been reserved for you is going to come to you. What has been held up and why you've been attacked. You have to understand the attack has been heavy on your life. Just like when Jesus told them to go to the other side, that demonic spirit sent out a storm to try to destroy them. And I want you to realize the storm is only a test. And if you can get through the storm, it is because you are going to dispossess every enemy on the other side. It is proof of the fact that when you make it through this, that today even is going to be a turning point for your life. And so I just wanted to encourage you and I want you to declare, decree, and believe June is going to be my month of release. June is going to be my month that I'm going to step into the fullness of what God had for me. And speaking of release, not only is it important for us to forgive others, I believe it's a month of release that you need to be released from the kingdom of darkness. Maybe you're watching right now and you've been going through all sorts of hell and you don't realize that today is the day that God wants to turn everything around in your life. And you say, Pastor Jay, what do I need to do? Sometimes the reason why we're battling so much is because Jesus is trying to get us to a point where we're ready to make him savior and Lord of our life. And maybe, you know what, people have done you wrong. Maybe the church has done you wrong, but God will never do you wrong. And even all the things that have gone wrong, the things that you have done wrong, the things that people have done wrong to you, God can make lemonade out of those lemons if you're willing to give your heart to him. And it's not only is it important for us to forgive others, but we need to be forgiven ourselves. And we do that by receiving Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of our life. And no matter where you are today, June 1 of 2023 can be the turning point of your life if you're willing to give Jesus your life today. Would you pray this prayer with me? And if you will pray this prayer, God will supernaturally transform your life. Come on, let's pray together. Say, Dear Father in heaven, Dear Father in heaven. I thank you today. I thank you today. Today, today is the day of salvation. Day of salvation. Today, Lord Jesus, today, Lord Jesus, I believe you came, you died, you were buried, and you rose again that I might have eternal life. Lord Jesus, I receive your forgiveness. You are now my Savior and my Lord. Satan, I renounce you. You are not my God. World, I'll no longer serve you. Jesus is my Savior from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. And that's all that it takes to receive Jesus. And now you're on the winning team. It's time to kiss the past bye-bye. 
Those of you that are dealing with unforgiveness, let it all go because it's only a blessing blocker to stop you from getting to your future. Mm -hmm. If you need prayer for any of those things that I mentioned, call right now. If you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, pick up that phone, dial 888-665-4483. The number's right on the bottom of your screen. Call right now. There are prayer partners standing by because today is a turning point for your life. I really believe, ladies, that this month is going to be a turning point that even in the next six months, people are gonna pick up acceleration in the battles that they've been in. It's because of what is getting ready to hit their lives with the blessing of the Lord. Amen, amen. Oh, I'm just like, sit, like sitting right now, just there are certain moments where it's just like, just what you just spoke, Pastor Jay, about it is the season of release. Grab yes. hold of that today. And you know, one thing I was just recently studying in the word, I believe it's in Deuteronomy when the Lord says, I will not leave you nor forsake you. If you look it up in the Hebrew word, it is really powerful what God is actually saying. He's like, I will not drop you and I will not desert you. That is a promise that we hold from God. So no matter the situation, yes. maybe you can relate to David's story. And I have the same story and testimony as well of being sexually abused and being, you know, there's perpetrators that have come in our lives. Maybe that you're going through something devastating in your marriage. Maybe something is happening with your children. Maybe you have a health diagnosis and you don't know what's going to happen and how it's going to work out. But we just want to encourage you today yes, yes. that today is a day of release. Declare Come that on. over yourself. And today Amen. is a day that you need to speak of, say, God, that you say you will not drop me and you will not desert me. That is a promise from God. That is a promise mm. from Adonai, the Lord and the Come Savior on. of our life. And when we grab hold of that, we hold on to that truth. It is life changing. Yes. Amy, what are your thoughts? Well, C.S. Lewis said this, to be a Christian means to forgive the inexcusable because God has forgiven the inexcusable in you. And I think it's important today to remember that we love because he first loved us. We forgive because he forgave us. You can do this. You must do this. This is not a time to hang on to grievances, to hang on to the hurt, to let it affect the very fibers of your being, to scientifically become addicted to that dopamine of what that anger does. Stop right now. That is not God's best for you. And I love what he said. It is misused energy. There is a life of God and a peace of God and a joy that comes from God. And there is a hope that he has for you today. On tomorrow's Hope Today, discover how God brings beauty and purpose to your story. Author and artist Ann Nielsen shares her story of overcoming disappointment and provides a message of hope and reassurance that God is always with us, even when we feel abandoned. That's tomorrow on Hope Today. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.